Bridgewater's Academy building is in rough shape. The paint is peeling, the wood is water damaged, windows are rotting, and the fire escape is in violation of the current building code. And that's just scraping the surface of its problems. HKT Architects Incorporated, the firm behind the building's feasibility study, is proposing two options for its restoration. The one overriding point is that all that wood and all that detail you see, most of it's completely shot. Option one would utilize all three floors of the Academy building to consolidate all town offices. This would include those that are now housed in the town hall and memorial building. To make it more efficient for uh, those town employees and departments that have to work together to service uh, the town and also to uh, increase the convenience for uh, the residents and the people that have to conduct business with the town. And the estimated cost? $8.4 million. What we propose to do is take, I don't know how many people have ever been in the basement of the Academy building, but it's uh, half of it, it's unoccupiable. You just can't use it for anything except for mechanical equipment but uh, no people can be in there. The front part where the emergency operations center is, is also, uh, it's, it's got enough head height. However, there's been so much moisture and deterioration over the years. Uh, there's mold growing down there. It isn't even a healthy place to be. Um, so in option one, there's a significant amount of work to reclaim that unused space. And by doing that, we are able to get everybody into the academy building. Option two, meant to be the smaller scope, would leave some offices in the town hall. Ultimately, though, it would cost the town more, around $8.9 million, because of the required upgrades. The advantage of option one, putting everything into the town, uh, into the academy building, and freeing up the town hall and the memorial building, is that now you have two buildings that are completely unencumbered and it is not out of the question to have a long-term lease with somebody who would make all those improvements and that really would be the goal. The estimates were put together by HKT, a structural engineer, electrical and code consultants. According to the proposal, the goal was to use conservative estimates. If we go forward with this, we would be looking at alternatives, we'd be looking at ways uh, of trying to save money. Possible funding sources are Community Preservation or Green Community Funds, the Massachusetts Preservation Project Fund, or private fundraising. Well, this is a very exciting project, and I think this would really change the character of the central uh, square and the center of, of, of Bridgewater. It's a lot of money, and, and, and we recognize that. And, and uh, we take that pretty seriously. Some of the possibilities for the reuse of the town hall and the memorial building should option one go forward included a children's museum, new restaurants, clothing stores, a yoga studio, theaters, and art centers. But this isn't the final plan by any means. There will be a second public hearing in September and the council will decide on the project in October.